first day of class was pretty uh, intense. You baby, you? <laughs> Didn't really know where I was going that much. Hold on, where my map at? I got to see a lot of new places because I was going the wrong way. Bro, how are we going to get to the next one? Juwan Blue and Earl Moore and uh, myself, we were going on the maps. We was asking different professors where our classes were. We're that way. Yes, it's on the fourth floor. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Appreciate it. All right. All right. Good, be well. Yes, ma'am. Have a nice day. Even then, we were still confused. Very good. We have a little app on our phone that shows exactly where we are on campus. Go through straight right? and it shows where our classes were. This ain't nothing like Hillsborough High School. We were still kind of confused because we had to go upstairs and everything to get to our class and we had to find the room number. We made sure we, we were early to class, tried to do the right thing. We sat in the front of the class, we introduced ourselves to our teacher. Tariq, Tariq McCord, sir. You gotta be more mature when you're in college. You'll continue to find places in life where it will benefit you to be an effective speaker. Certainly a lot of jobs demand it. You can't do the things that you did in high school because it's a very different setting. <laughs> we got to meet new people, got to see new faces, so it was a pretty good experience. All right, appreciate it. Blue snow ain't done. Whether it's in a classroom or in the field, you know, as a freshman, I'm always learning something new. When I'm learning something new, I always try to be patient with myself. I was just being very calm, putting on my pads, just like any other game. When I was going over my notes, I just wanted to, you know, make sure I knew exactly what I was doing on every play. Touchdown. Plus 25, right hash. Tyreek. When your name called, you have to be ready. And at the time, I thought I was ready, but the speed of the game caught me off guard. Finish the play! Finish the play! Stop loafing! Any player that's out there with their hands on their hips on defense and certainly with their legs crossed is usually a signal that they're tired. I think the biggest thing that he probably learned from the scrimmage was that the tempo and the pace is a lot faster than high school. Compared to high school football, it was pretty, like, over overwhelming. You got the peel, McCord! You got the peel, McCord! See the back! The football was moving, like, every second, every minute, and it was kind of hard for me to keep up because I had to know exactly where I line up at, what, what exactly I'm doing on this play. With everything happening so fast, it's kind of hard to, you know, get all that function in your brain. Coming off the field after my first series, 105 degrees, scorching hot. I mean, conditioning was, you know, was always rough, but playing out there, it was a whole different level. I mean, I'm from Tampa, I'm used to the heat, but Lord, it was hot out there. Get these guys out of the shade. That's not the way we do it here. I was sitting under the shade. To be quite honest, I don't, I don't even remember who I was sitting by because it was just so hot. Everybody was just trying to look for a spot under the shade. We have to teach the freshmen everything, how we operate during the game. Find the ball! Show yardage! We don't expect the freshmen to be sitting and looking for shade during the scrimmage. We expect them to be up, getting the call, and watching uh, the guy at their position so they can help coach and help, help get the mental rep for when they get in there. Vernon! Tyreek, Rashad, get on the bench! Coach Golden told us to get out from under the shade. He told us to stand up on the sideline, watch our position, and learn something to help ourselves and help our teammates. You can stand up and watch it too, you might learn something. Everything our coaches stress, you know, as players, we know that it's for our best benefit. Whatever way they're telling you is the right way, and you have to trust that. That's just something uh, that goes along with the, with the learning curve for freshmen. Eyes, eyes. Here we go. I know I'm a freshman, but I'm just trying to learn what Coach D'Onofrio is trying to, you know, teach me. My first tackle, I believe it was on OT. 
My first sack honestly didn't feel like a sack. That's because of the fact that we couldn't tackle the quarterback. I started to think about wrapping them up, but you know, I would have gotten in trouble for that. My first sack didn't really feel like one, but it felt great because I accomplished something. I came here to, you know, make sacks. I came here to make plays, and I pretty much made a good play right there and made a big one. I think Tyreek improved in this scrimmage, you know, as far as his, his technique and his alignments and assignments. We just got to get him to take the next step and improve his conditioning. Hey, defense, right here. Like Coach mentioned, there should be a lot, a lot to learn. I know we didn't play with 95% finish. Okay, we didn't tackle at 90. We missed too many tackles, okay, because we were out of shape. We couldn't get 95. We were kind of flopping around and floundering out there at times. You can't tackle people when you're tired. Okay, we got to get it fixed. It's up to you. Efforts between you and you. Out of the scrimmage, I learned high school football is totally different from college. I'm going up against pretty much grown men. One, two, three, go! The speed of the game, you got to bring your A game every down. Get up there, hurry up. 